In this video, we will show you how to get started with the SAM E51 Curiosity Nano Evaluation Kit using MPLAB Harmony version 3. If you are new to Harmony version 3, be sure to watch our video, How to Set Up the Tools Required to Get Started with Harmony version 3. This project is based on the SAM E51, our Cortex M4 microcontroller. For this video, we will use the SAM E51 Curiosity Nano Evaluation Kit that contains the AT SAM E51 J20A microcontroller. Let's look at the resources available on the board before we get started. The SAM E51 contains a user LED, which will be useful to show the application status. There's a user switch to read the user inputs, a micro USB connector to connect with a PC and an onboard nano debugger for programming and debugging the AT SAM E51 J20A microcontroller. This onboard debugger acts as a virtual COM port. Users can extend this Curiosity Nano board using the Curiosity Nano baseboard, where a variety of clickboards can be added. This will help the hardware extension platform to ease the connection between Curiosity Nano kits and extension boards like the Micro Bus Click modules and explained Pro extension boards. To get started developing applications on this board, open the SAM E51 Curiosity Nano Evaluation Kit webpage and download the Getting Started Demo project. The SAM E51 N Getting Started zip file has the demo firmware and you can extract it from there. Open the project in MPLAB XIDE. Go to Tools, Embedded, and open the Harmony 3 configurator. The project graph is opened. You can see the various peripherals configured for the SAM E51 MCU under this demo project. Clicking on a peripheral block shows you the configuration done for that peripheral. By clicking on CIRCOM 5, you can see the CIRCOM 5 configured as USART to print the LED toggling rate. By clicking on the Real-Time Clock, or RTC Peripheral Library, you can see the RTC configuration to generate a 500 milliseconds timeout interrupt. By clicking on the External Interrupt Controller, or EIC Peripheral Library, you can see the EIC configuration to read the switch SW0 status change. In the same way, you can see the configurations for other peripherals in the Configuration Operations window. To configure other necessary system-specific configurations like a clock, DMA, or event systems, go to the Tools menu and choose the system module you would like to configure. For example, to configure the clock, open the Clock Easy View window by clicking Tools, then Clock Configuration. Here you will see the main clock is set to its default clock frequency of 120 MHz. Using the Harmony Configurator, you can easily add another peripheral, reconfigure the project, and generate the code. You can go to the Project Configuration path and check the various files to understand the implementation of the project. This code sends the strings using USART on a periodic basis, and the periodic timeout can be changed by the switch press. To run this demo project, connect a micro USB cable between the debug USB on the board and the PC. This enables the programming of the microcontroller and provides a serial connection with the console device. In MPLAB X, under Project Properties, select the SAM E51 Curiosity Nano as the target kit in the Connected Hardware Tool dropdown. Then click OK. Open a terminal application, such as TerraTerm on the PC, and perform the serial port setup. You can now build your project and program the SAM E51 Curiosity Nano development board by using MPLAB XIDE. Here, you can see the LED toggling rate text printed on the console in a periodic basis. The periodicity of the timeout will change from 500 milliseconds to 1 second, to 2 seconds, to 4 seconds and back to 500 milliseconds every time you press the SW0 switch on the SAM E51 Curiosity Nano Evaluation Kit. The demo project shown in this video is also available on GitHub. Go to the link shown here to open the MPLAB Harmony Reference Apps Repository. 
The demo examples on the SAMe51 Curiosity Nano Evaluation Kit are available under the path shown here. There are also some collaterals available in the web link shown here, which are related to this video content. In the link provided below, you could refer to this video for step-by-step -step instructions on how to create a demo project on SAM E5X based on MCUs using MPLAB Harmony. And finally, this is the MPLAB Harmony landing page, where you can find all the information about Harmony version 3. Thanks for watching.